So what are two top Singapore stocks which you can put in your watch list for potentially more upside in April 2022 or maybe even in May 2022? Hey guys, Joey here, Top Optimizer of Trader in Philips Securities. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you just two um, Singapore stocks that has been in my watch list for quite a while now. And I've alerted clients to it as well uh, by WhatsApp. And you've seen a little bit of uh, you know consolidation, but it seems like the uptrend is still pretty much intact and we could potentially see more upside. So I'm going to share with you these two stocks, right? Make sure you watch this video all the way to the end if you want to know what are these two stocks and more importantly, how do you actually position yourself uh, to write them, what are some of the potential targets and all that. And we will even dive into a system that I have called 1GT, One Good Trend, whereby you know, we did have a couple of uh, good bullish signals on it and you know, it seems like there could still potentially uh, be more strength. All right, so watch this video all the way to the end if you want to know what are these two Singapore stocks to watch. So the first stock I'd like to share with you with this company called Semcorp Industry, right? Semcorp Industry is one of those pretty decent uptrending stocks since last year. We were like consolidating a little bit, but at the beginning of this year, when we kind of broke that 230 level, so look at this right here. I mean, since last year, you know, April 2021, we kind of like went down, we touched, we came back down. So there's a little bit of a resistance somewhere around that 220 to 230 level. Let me draw it for you right here. You can see it kind of like came down, came down, and somewhere around like February, January this year, we kind of broke this like resistance level and the uptrend come like form up much stronger all right so it come like push up from like 230 to like about 250 a little bit of consolidation and this is pretty much where we are right now right about two dollars and 87 right 287 so the longer term uptrend looks quite intact and you can see that um this is the red line the 100 days moving average is pointing up the blue line is the 200 days moving average the longer term um average is moving average as well is pointing up as well so right above the blue it looks quite okay for the longer term uh in the short term you know you can see that it was a quite a good move as i say when we broke that 230 all right broke the 230 uh this green line was sloping upwards price above the green line so the short term looks really awesome then as well somewhere around january and February when we broke that 230, right? So along the way, you can see we pushed up and we saw a little bit of consolidation uh, over the past like two weeks, uh, three weeks, you can see from this like 255, uh, 260 to about at $2.80 level. So that was pretty much uh, the range. Let me just draw it for you guys. You can see right here, that was the range, right? About like 20 cents, about 20 cents range right here. Up, down, up, down, and you just couldn't break that uh you know level we couldn't break that this 80 cents two dollars and 80 cents level whereby we saw a little bit of selling you know it just came down came down and it was pretty much this range here right but you can see that over the past uh, few days right uh, in fact just yesterday we broke this two dollars and 80 cents uh, resistance level all right and that could actually be a good sign of the uptrend uh, actually continuing further i mean look at this right when we broke that 230 as i mentioned we broke at 230 the uptrend come like push up quite fast and within a couple of like one two months went from like 230 to about 260 plus to 70 to 80 right so now that we have broken the 280 all right which is about 287 now um, that's where more upside can actually happen. Potential upside can be revised higher all the way to maybe about $3 to about $3.20. I mean, that is the range uh, we can potentially see a bit of upside. Of course, it's only like one day, all right? So we want to see if we can stay above or maybe hold above the $2.80 level. So this two eighty, as I say, is a bit of a resistance. We're like consolidating. Uh, we can, in fact, draw what we call an upward sloping um, channel support line. So as you can see, right, as it consolidates here, all right, it forms what we call higher lows. So it shows that you know as it comes back down, uh, you know, buyers are prepared to come come back earlier, uh, even higher, uh, to buy back up. So you come like you know higher lows because this this a low. I mean this was a low. This, let me just draw it for you guys so at least you can see um clearly right here. So higher lows just mean like you know this was initially the low about two forty and then about two fifty five and then about two sixty and then about two sixty eight. You can see higher lows as it forms up and wow we were kept below that two dollars and 80 cents resistance so that's a good sign of you know higher lows kept by resistance and eventually that resistance gave way the 280 just you know sellers just gave way you know buyers just whack and then took up everything and this went from like 280 281 82 and, and then we come like close at 287 as you can see right so that can be a good sign of more upside especially if we were to hold above the 280 so that would now be 
uh, like the support level let me turn it to green in color all right and that could be the upside all right so this is sam Corp industry the first singapore stock i like share with you whereby you can put in your watch list for potentially more upside and for the uptrend to continue even further so let's take a look at the system that i have the one gt one good trend system that i have that you know, you know we actually had a couple of good bullish signals let's see how it looks Okay, so this is Sam Corp uh, Industry on the One GT system that I have, you know, whereby we had a couple of bearish and even bullish signals. So I'll not go too far. Uh, somewhere around here, I think this was last year, July. We did have like a bearish signal. This is like a red arrow pointing down. You can see it come broke uh, this like two dollar psychological support. It went down, down, down. We got an exit, and then we started to see a little bit of change, whereby you know some good bullish signals started to come back. So this was one of them that came out somewhere on like the third of December, uh, 2021. You can see right here it was like consolidating. We got this signal. It consolidated for like two three weeks and eventually pop it went up and we broke that uh, 205 210 it went up, up up got an exit and you know a couple of good bullish signals as it just pushes up slowly gradually and then we got an exit because as i say it was like pretty much consolidating all right which is healthy i mean we want to see uh, some good consolidation in an uptrend we don't want to just see it like go up every single day you know it can be quite dangerous and there are like no supports being found as it goes up so if it consolidates that's a good thing because as it consolidates a new support is found and new support is one thing but new higher support is another thing so as it consolidates higher we find higher support and this is where the uptrend is more firm all right so this is where we were consolidating as i mentioned right we kept below that 280 and this was most recently you can see this was like 29 of march 29 of march which is just about like last tuesday last tuesday at least 8 of april so last tuesday uh, we got this signal right here you can see it didn't really play out but eventually just about a week later to um, just yesterday we come broke that two dollars and eighty cents resistance, you can see this is where we are about two eighty seven. So yeah, right now there's a new recent uh, bullish signal that's last week. All right, and yes, still there's still no exits obviously. All right, and potentially we can still see more upside. We'll see. All right, we'll see how it plays out. As I say, if it holds above two eighty, potentially targets can be about two three dollars three twenty. We'll see if an exit comes out then. Maybe it might start to consolidate sideways. Okay, right. So yeah, this counter was like kind of like alerted to uh, to my clients as well over the past few months as well. Uh, you know, for those of you who are my clients in Philip, that's where we do send out buy whatsapp on some of those stock ideas like this uh, with a little chart a little description and yeah so sam Corp industry is one of those that we like pretty decent uptrend and a few consolidations upwards along the way okay so let's move on to the second uh, singapore stock i'll share with you guys if you found value so far in this video i would appreciate if you can give me an early thumbs up it will definitely help out the channel and thank you so much for doing that and of course smash the subscribe button if you're not yet done so so that you would not miss out on any videos like this right so let's dive on to the second stock as i say guys um some of these stocks you know, we have shared with our clients uh, in philip so if you're not yet a client you can get some of those ideas or you are pretty much trading on your own uh, your broker don't really send you anything no ideas no videos no whatsapp or anything uh then you might want to come on board as at least you get some service and you do get some of our uh, top ideas by whatsapp and you know where to actually focus on all right so this is the second uh singapore so, so yeah i mean regarding the a client of mine philip i'll just put the link below the video go ahead, check it out click on it you can go ahead to apply if you're not if you're not yet one all right and i'll speak with you soon once the uh, account is open all right so this is Wang yang zijiang uh shipbuilding yzj S H I P B L D G Yang Zijiang Shipbuilding right here. The second Singapore stock I share with you, um, trading at about one dollar and fifty nine cents. So this stock is a little bit more volatile, I would say a very very gentle, uh, longer term uptrend. Longer term, I say again, but for the short term, it was actually quite volatile. We did like move up and down, up and down. Uh, but over the past few weeks, it seems like there are some strength coming back again, and the shorter term trend has started to turn up. So I'm looking at it right now. All right, so this is Yang Zijiang trading at about $1.59. So let me just go ahead to explain to you what has happened over the past like uh, one year. You can see that we were actually consolidating below this level about $1.55. All right, we kind of like came down. That was all the way in like July, August last year. We broke the 155, went up to about 170. And look at this right here. This was where it sold off in September, all right? Down, down, down. And managed to find a little bit of support around the 120. So 120 to 130 was a good support level. You can see uh, I've drawn this um, upward sloping channel support line all right same thing as i mentioned just now we're going to see buyers coming up uh, and buying at higher prices so we see like higher lows let me draw it for you again you see right here so it's like a higher low right here about 120 it became about 125 it became like 130 and eventually the upside actually kind of like started right here all right so over the past like few weeks we managed to break this like 140 a little bit of resistance 140 and the key would be this level which is the one 155 says 155 was that resistance we have touched in may we came down it was like the resistance came down came down eventually we broke up so it's like a huge resistance last year all right and then we broke it it became support we broke it 
and look at this right here we actually attempted to to near it somewhere in march uh like just just recently in march just like last month right and then we came down but over the past few days right we managed to break the 155 level right this 155 resistance level so it's a good sign whereby you know um buyers are starting to come back up there could potentially be a bit more upside momentum right we are kind of like consolidating from like 155 to 160 over the past few days right so it's, it's still holding about 155 so that's a good sign i mean if you want to give it a little bit of leeway uh, we can put it at about 150 if just to give it a little bit of leeway right here i mean that would be a psychological uh support level as well but i mean over the past few days it's just like you know from 155 to 160 right it doesn't even go down to like 150 all right so yeah that is the range right i think if you can hold above that 150 to 155 we can actually see a little bit more upside uh, all the way to the previous resistance at one dollar and seventy cents that was the recent high we've seen in august last year and that's where some profit taking can actually come back again right? so that could be kind of like the move as we consolidate it might move up down up down eventually it breaks the 160 it might come back out and it might consolidate here and eventually uh you know we break that 170 and that, that's where uh, more upside can actually happen again if you kind of like break the resistance level especially if the trend uh, still remains intact uh, in the upwards direction all right so this is Yang Zhejiang I think it looks quite okay for now above that 150 to 155 it's one of those stocks you can put in your watch list and we have covered this stock many times as well uh, for clients we have alerted them by whatsapp as well all right, so I hope you like this uh, counter. Let's take a look at what it says on the 1GT system very quickly. Okay, so this is Yang Zhejiang shipbuilding on my 1GT system, whereby we had a couple of uh, bearish and even bullish signals. So I would say that, you know, since like uh, November, December last, look at this, the trend bar was pretty much red in color. As I say, it was quite volatile. It went up, it came back down, it was like consolidating. So a couple of signals right here, it didn't really move much, it was consolidating. But I would say somewhere around like February, look at this right here, this was like 7 Feb, we got a good bullish signal, started to push up, got an exit, came down a little bit, and this is where we had like quite a new uh, good bullish signal. You can see the trend started to turn from red to like green in color. This like dark green, so it's an upside with momentum. All right, and on the 24th of March, right, 24th of March, just like a few weeks back, we got this green arrow pointing up. It's like a 1GT bullish signal. All right, and eventually you can see we broke that like 145 as I mentioned. A little bit of resistance there. We broke it, and uh, we broke the 140 as well, and then it started to push up, up, up. And this is where we are right now, about one. 59 right so yeah there are no exits right as of now from from this like recent bullish signal so yeah i think there could potentially be a bit more upside especially if we get past that 160 so 160 is a little bit of selling there you can see a lot of sellers that are kept there i'm not too sure when uh those sellers will be taken out but if they do get taken out like 160 161 162 i think that's where more upside can actually happen fast all the way to our first upside targets at about the 170 which i've drawn just now so yes guys there we have it i've covered like two singapore stocks which you can put in your watch list for potentially more upside whereby you know the uptrend can actually continue further so i hope you like these two stocks samcorp industry and yang zhejiang shipbuilding uh one of those few stocks that we like and your know, clients were alerted as well a couple of good whatsapp uh, message were sent out to them over the past few months as it pushes higher but you know, even though it has gone up a little bit but i think there still, still could potentially be a bit more upside especially if some of those support levels that i talked about are still holding really well so yeah, I hope you like this video guys. If you like this video, go ahead to give me a like. It will definitely help out the channel. Of course, smash the subscribe button as well if you have not yet done so, so that you will not miss out on any videos like this. Right? So Joey here, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what are your biggest takeaway in this video, what have you learned or maybe on these two stocks. Uh, could there actually be more upside, the fundamentals, if you actually covered it, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to reply to each and every one of you. And if you want to get some of these ideas uh, much faster by WhatsApp Live, if as a client, uh, make sure you click on the link below. I'll just place the link below if I can find out um, how you can come on board as a client of mine in Philip Securities, where I'm a broker. All right, and, and that's where you can get some of these ideas much faster. I mean, it takes a while to, to do videos like this, to produce, to plan, to edit, and all that. So if you get it fa much faster on WhatsApp, I think that's where you can act on it even faster. So right, go ahead and click on the link below to find out more. And you know, once um, you have an account under me, that's where my team will add you to this WhatsApp broadcast exclusive for clients only. So Joey here, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.